Installing a banner out of doors for temporary use, such as a sporting event, is quite simple, although you will need the proper accessories. The goal is not only having your banner present well, but also to guard it against the destructive force of the wind. All items shown here were purchased at the Home Depot. First, you're going to need enough stakes to occupy every one of the grommet holes. In this example of a 3x7 banner, it requires four stakes. You'll find two types of stakes in the fencing section of your Home Depot. I prefer this one as opposed to this one for two reasons. First, it's just stronger. And second, it has these little ribs or nibs or whatever you want to call them every couple of inches and they come in very handy in helping to position and secure the banner to the attachment points, keeping the banner taut and looking good. They cost about $4 each. Now the 5 foot stakes work well for the 2 foot wide and 3 foot wide banners, but for the 4 foot wide banners you're going to need the 6 foot stakes. You'll also need some 2 foot bungee cords and some 3 16 inch quick links in order to secure the banner to the posts. Both can be found in the hardware section of your Home Depot. You will also need some heavy duty tie ties which also can be purchased at Home Depot. Now before heading out I recommend attaching the bungees to the stakes as shown here. For a 3 foot wide banner installing the 5 foot stakes use the maximum spread available. For a 2 foot wide banner or if using the 6 foot stakes naturally you're going to have to adjust. Use tie ties to clamp the bungees in place and prevent them from slipping. To prep the banner, attach the 3 16 quick links to the four corner grommets. Also pre-attach tie ties to the remaining grommets as shown here. Now you're ready to head out. When on site, your first task is to drive the left anchor post down to the spade portion of the stake. You'll need a handheld sledgehammer to accomplish this. Attach the upper left corner grommet to the stake using the bungee. Next, drive the right post in and attach the upper bungee to the corner grommet. Then affix the lower corner bungees to the posts. Next, it's just a matter of installing the stakes directly in line with the remaining grommets and tying the grommets to the stakes. Notice that because of the orientation of the stakes, the extra tie tie installed earlier allows for easy attachment to the stake. Your banner is now secure, and you don't have to worry about the wind destroying it. Best of all, forget about using those half-moon banner slits you see so often, which are ugly, and of marginal effectiveness to boot. There is a quick and simple alternative to the method I just demonstrated, and that is simply employing ropes strung through the banner eyelets and attached to your stakes. Your attachment to the stakes can be via bungees as shown here, recommended, or by simply tying the ropes to the stakes. Once the banner is tied off, you'll need to go back and secure the corner grommets using 1 8 inch quick links and tie ties. Otherwise, your banner will start to bunch up as the wind rocks it back and forth. Using ropes is quite effective in securing your banner. When strung properly, the rope absorbs virtually all of the abuse of the wind and the banner is just along for the ride. The other benefit is your banner installation locations are virtually limitless as long as you have two firm attachment points.